So I needed one more set of stacking knobs for my new John East preamp, which I'm going to fit to my custom zoo base. So first things, I'm going to need to make some bushes. I'm going to make two bushes. This is the larger one, just facing it off. Then I'm going to centre drill it and bore it out finely to 8mm. The overall diameter is going to be 13mm. So after taking it down, we're just going to part it off, part it off at 10mm length. So then it was time to make the small bush. So same sort of procedure, take it down, I'm going to take it down to 10mm and this one has a 6mm bore. I'm just going to add in a few grooves, now I've finished it and this will help the epoxy stick when it goes into the wood. And we're going to part it off 10 millimeters again. So the wood I'm going to use is uh, tiger striped jarra. So this is the same wood that I've got on the top and the back of my base. It was a custom base uh, by a guy called Mike Walsh. And he was kind enough to give me a little bit of the wood left because he knew I was going to make the wooden knobs for it. So thanks Mike for that. So we can just trim it up roughly to size a square blank. Once we've done that, we'll glue the bushes in. So I'm going to mix up some epoxy, get those bushes in. They were a bit tight, so I had to squeeze them in and finally got them in. Once we've done that, just left them overnight to cure before the next stage. So now we're going to drill and tap for the grub screw. So this is three and a half mil drill, followed by a four mil tap. And once that was all done, just cleaned it out a bit. And that allowed me to put the grub screw in. And there's the finished thread. So once that was done, it was back onto the lathe. So I made a brass arbor so that could be fitted on there. And then gently took the wood down to the desired size. So the sizes of the wood, this is what I ended up with. The large one, which is the one I'm working on here, is 24 millimeters diameter and it's 12 and a half millimeters in length. So the smaller one, take that down and that was down to 17.5mm diameter and 12.5mm length. So after some sanding and comparison with the old ones, they were ready to mark up. So these are just little position markers. So centre, punch them slightly and then use the rotary tool just to put a little burr on the end just to get a bit of depth. found a marker pen just really good for putting a black dot in there. Then all that was needed to do was a few coats of lacquer and leave that to dry and they're all set to go. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you have. There's two other videos in the series. One fitting the John East preamp to the base and the other one's going to be a comparison of the old with the new.